Mullet. Mullet. Right. Where are you? Uh, Taco Bell. Taco, Taco Bell. Fiesta. Taco <laughs> Bell. Taco Bell. Hi hey guys. <laughs> it's a very extensive menu, Mullet. How you doing? Doing good. What do you got here for sale? Chimichanga? Hi. A chimichanga, six dollars. Oh, I got a menu. Oh, wow, I got a menu. Hold on a second. Here. It's a big menu. What do you want to get? Well, how much money do you have? $20. We got chimichangas, fish burritos. What are you selling over here, Alada? Huh? What are you selling over here, Alada? What's the main thing? Uh, bean and cheese. Bean and cheese? What's that? Uh, bean, a burrito with bean and cheese. Bean and cheese bur burrito. You want some of that? Mullet eats a lot of cheeseburgers mainly. You got any French fries. Cheeseburgers? No cheese, no hamburgers. Have you ever eaten here? I think so. I think it was pretty good. You know what I had one time? I had those rolled, those rolled taco. You liked it? Let me see. I, don't, I can't read this. My eyes aren't that good. It's a big menu. Do you even know where to start? Right here. Uh, this one. Want to get that? Sure. Well, you want to pass on it. Think about it. Go to 7-Eleven. Well, if you need to think about it, if you have never had this type of food, then think about it. What, what is this? Flying salsa? I don't know, but it's a big change for you. That's about the flying salsa for me. I'll see. I'm out of here. This way. Let's go. Let's go to 7-Eleven. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'll think about that flying saucer. Look, we have Arby's over here. That's more up your alley. Five sandwiches for nine ninety nine. Five. Five for nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine. Is that what it says? Can't see it. What does that sign say? So what's up with your your ensemble today? You you forgot your I'm American feeling, pants. I'm feeling good. I just joined the gym. Oh, good. So we're off to 7-Eleven. This is what the ladies like, man, man, man who knows how to dress. Really? Yeah. Who told you you knew how to dress? It's how uh, we don't dress in the 80s. On our really? Yeah, it's trying to be like that. Wow. Look, your favorite restaurant is straight ahead. McDonald's? To the left, McDonald's. You're gonna be in business forever. Why is that? It's wonderful. What's it's wonderful about it? Oh, everything costs a dollar. Hey, he's really working out, Mullet. That guy? Yeah. I can't see him. You can't see him. He's in the dark. He's, I think he's sweaty. The sweaty man doesn't look doesn't look like much of a much of anything to me. Look at the gas prices. Three fifty nine. You know what you can do with that? What? You can drive. Well, well, not very far with one gallon. Like that. You see that car? He just got gas. Yeah. That's the best, McDonald's and gas, right next to each other. There was a time when gas used to cost a dollar. Yeah? Yeah. Do you remember Burgers that time? Burgers were less than a dollar, they were about 50 cents, 55 cents. And uh, gas was like 87 cents. You weren't, you were too little. That time's coming back real soon, I heard about it in the news. They said they're gonna put the gas back to a dollar and the burgers might go down back to 50 cents. Weren't you telling me earlier that you think it should be mandatory that all of the United States re be required to wear red, white, and blue, every human in the US? Not required. You, uh, if you wear red, white, and blue, people like you better. Oh, they get discounts. You said they should get discounts. Oh yeah, you should get a discount for that. Like how much of a discount? Pants, you should get uh, free, uh, free everything, free uh, tolls. For sure, shouldn't have to pay toll. 
Sometimes I pull up to the toll drivers and I say, I'm an American, I shouldn't have to pay. And they don't charge me. They don't? No. No, I tell them it's my right as an American to be free and, and, and go. And I'm uh, part Indian. So, you is, know, as a true, real American, part Indian, I tell them that's it. Is that why your hair is so luxurious? I'm assuming now, today my hair's not feeling too good. It's frizzy? It's frizzy. I've been to that McDonald's before. I slept in there a few nights. You slept? Yeah, I slept in the, uh, they used to have a, a monkey cage in the front. I used to sleep in What? But then the police told me I had to go because the kids had to play. But then you told them that you were a true American mullet. Now, now sometimes you just have to go home. But they probably thought you didn't have a home. I had a few homes. Oh, here's 7-Eleven, look. What a country, right here. What a block. We got Food Mart, 7-Eleven, Money Tree, McDonald's. It seems like you're the only person that walks around here, mullet. Cigarettes for sale, everything. Look at this. Two donuts for a dollar. Two monsters for four dollars. There's a lot of stuff going on here. They got beer for sale up in here. I heard they're gonna start selling weed out of these 7-Eleven soon. What? Yeah. My homie's over there. Hi guys. This is Mullet. Mullet. Good country, right? Great to be an American. Great to be, <laughs> great to be here. Ladies first, don't hit your head. What are you doing with that iPhone? Get it out of my face. Look at the selection here. It's nice. We got 15 types of waters, 45 types of Gatorades, 20 types of Coca-Cola. I actually have like five kinds of Red Bulls now. There's a lot. Trying to confuse me. I got a lot of money, so I have to pay for two for five dollars. I'm rich. Wow. I'm just gonna go for this right here. I'm gonna pay for two of them right now. One for me, one for you, honey. It's impressive. Hey, Thank look, you. Look at the junk selection here. You drive for days on this shit. Is this what you live off of when you travel? I like the beef jerky. Hello. Uh, I get two Red Bulls. Thank you. What happened to you today? Today? Yeah. He changed a little, huh? What do you mean what happened today? <laughs> it's mullet. I paid my taxes six months late, but on time. That's about it. 1410 is 10. 1410, thank you. 1450. 1450. You're about to give her it's too expensive. much money. This is the good stuff. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> How you doing? doing great, What's up, buddy? <laughs> How you been, bro? I've been all right. All right. <laughs> Got nice cars. Nice, nice car. 1968. So. Bye, guys. Uh, all right, then, all in. See you later, guys. <laughs> See you next time. The last true American homie. True homie. That was my homie. He's on YouTube. All right. <laughs> yeah. We're going down. Well, I guess. We get to walk down the same exact strip. We got tacos. You know what? I don't think I'm hungry. I think I'd rather work out, burn off some fat, get skinnier. Well, you became a member of the gym. What kind of gym? Oh, Liz Carmouche. She's my, my homie from down the corner. Have you been working? You beefed up those legs. They look buff. Yeah, she. Me and her look a lot. So, <laughs> people thought we're quitting. Can I have a sip of that? They were, they were wondering if I, my name was Moosh. No, Mo I just want a sip of that. Mullet Moosh. I said, who? Mullet moosh, and uh, she's my homie. She's one block away from me. I used to live two blocks from her gym. Now I only live one block. So you work out with Carmouche at what time? Before I'm even I'll awake. Let her kick me in the balls, everything. But I try, I trick her. <laughs> it's not really my balls. <laughs> what is it? Don't, don't worry, I can't tell you right now. On uh, video, I'll tell you when I get home. That's Tio Leo. I never met him. He lives nearby. I look forward to meeting the guy, but never met him. I think he lives up there. This bank's cool. They always have Mexicans on top of it about every day, fixing the roof. One time one fell off. 
That was fun to watch. But yeah, Carmouche's gym is up two blocks. It's right next to the Jack in the Box over there. Well, drink your bull, your Red Bull, get some wings, and, uh, and then you'll Red go work out. All right, Mullet? Yeah, well, today's American Wednesdays. Yeah, so let's just walk out, take it easy, and then uh, we'll be back for the workout, right? Workout? Workout. You want to see a mullet out workout? Yeah, I'd like to see it. Uh, I'm going to watch Man on the Moon for a few minutes, and then I'll work out. It's going to inspire me. All right. Because I, I want, if I work out more, I can get to the moon faster. <laughs>